Um, my name is Derek Stewart from a company called Lesson Recorder. The previous one was a great example for me to lead on, so I didn't know if it was going to work well. Um, the software that we've got for the universities now, there's about 500 universities using this software to see, uh, for teach training for, for students to log on and review a lesson. This is the sort of screen that they would see if they wanted to review a lesson. We've got about 4 million students now using it in that way. Um, whereas the previous speaker was thinking, how do I combine the problem of having slides or notes which are told them, which is great, got the information over. The way it works with the software is there's tabs across the top of all the slides. So all the PowerPoint slides, and we're recording the lesson today, you may have noticed, we can use any camera that we want in a school, a couple of webcams that do fine, one on the teacher, one on the learners, which is difficult, and load the software on your existing laptop. So it's a low cost of, of hardware and so on. But the screens are both here, one on the teacher, one on the learners, which is a typical setup. Any slides, you just click on the tab here for slides, and if, if there happen to be any slides in the presentation, the, fine, the slides would run along the side. If you double click on any, any screen, it just goes to full size. Okay? And that's basically it with the software. If you want to, if you have slides running, the whole of the slide content is searchable, and the slide swarmer content is down the side here. So the heading of the slide is the content, and the body of the slide is also encapsulated there, so you can search within the video. So you have to scroll through an hour's lesson to find the point, which is simply type in the key point, and it will jump to that point on the video. What you can also do is add your own time link notes. So if we're doing an observation of a teacher, let's say, and you saw that's a good use of a video of a question, then you can type that note in. That can be private notes if you don't want anyone else to see it, or you can share it. Once the lesson's recorded, and the teacher could set this, this up themselves. Uh, once the lesson's recorded, that's uploaded to either the school server or a cloud-based server. And depending upon the permissions and password access, either only the teachers can see it, maybe the teachers within a, a, an observation group might, be, might want to see it, or it might be just for that teacher themselves to uh, do some, some elements of self-reflection perhaps and then delete the video. The video and see what it looked like, but I don't want anyone else to see it. So there's, there's various uh, games you can play with that, but the tools are there to be played with. The idea with the students, though, is if you're recording a lesson for students to see, different things that they need to see. They don't need a video on the learners, probably. There's an argument to say that they need to see the teacher. They usually want to see the PowerPoint, and then they also want to hear the audio. The audio is usually quite critical. So they would just see a full screen of the audio, if, uh, of the audio with the PowerPoint, and they're happy. They can log on 24 hours by 7. There's no problem with that. They can look on their iPhone, their Android device, uh, the Apple Mac, or the PC. So any device is available for the students to look at. Up till now, this is fairly expensive software. It developed at Carnegie Mellon University over in the States some years ago. But as we've gone um, with new technology, USB cameras and so on and so forth, the price has come down to the affordable at schools. So it's starting to roll out at schools now. So there's 50 universities in the UK that are using it, so it's a good track record. And now we've got a big handful of schools, but we're looking for new schools to embrace it. So if there's anyone in the audience who would be interested, for Christmas, what we're doing is offering uh, a free use of the system. One of us will come in, video the lesson for you, so you can see the tool, see what's available, and then uh, see for yourself whether it's this new one. So thanks for your time. Uh, the company name is Lesson Recorder. Um, if, if you email, log on to lessonrecorder.co.uk or we can send you an email. Can we get these emails so we can send some to your practice? Yeah. <coughs> uh, and you'll see an example of it because we're recording the whole of this. So you'll see that for one by, by logging on and sending you the link to it. Uh, and then also if you want to at that point perhaps you can request it if you want to come in and show you one of your actual lessons. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you.